Hey everyone, this is Val, and today I'm going to be showing you an ab workout that you can do if you do or if you don't have POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. I have POTS and I do this workout, um, which is basically a modified version of Alexis Wren's ab workout. I liked her workout, it was 10 minutes long, non-stop, but I couldn't do some of the things she was doing. So I modified it so that I could do it and so that hopefully other potsies could too, but it's different for everyone, so you can even further modify what I did. But yeah, I started out uh, what she was doing, which was 20 reps per, but I built up to 50, which is what you'll see me doing. But I want to emphasize that you should go at your own pace and listen to your body. And I also want to emphasize that even if you make it to a certain number, like 50, there will be days that you don't feel well and you should listen to your body and do only like 40 or 30. So yeah, that's just a disclaimer that I think you should adhere to your body. And besides that, it's very important when you have POTS to do workouts of different types, but it's especially important to have a strong core and work your core when you have POTS. And additionally, to combat atrophy, um, because if for some reason you can stand up or if you're in bed and you suddenly can stand up, you don't want the only thing in your way to be the fact that your muscles are weak. So you want to try to maintain your muscle mass so that, you know, you don't have to build it all up again. And something funny about this workout is actually if you want definition, even with the exercises that I did omit, I still saw definition and results with this workout. Like, no, I don't have a six pack or anything, but I do have definition um, more than I did before which was like none. If you just want definition from this workout, it's really funny because I'm sick in bed, right? And um, I actually have more definition in my abs than I ever have in my life, yet I can't walk a few feet. So it's really funny and people laugh at me for that. But yeah, if you want abs or if you just want, you know, I don't do it for the looks of it, but it's definitely a plus. Um, it's a very effective workout. And yeah, if you want to see what I do for this workout, just keep on watching. So I've changed into some more comfortable and appropriate attire, workout clothes. So now I'm just going to get started. And usually I have a playlist for working out, but I don't want to get a copyright or anything like that. So I'm just going to be talking you through it, walking you through it with kind of ironic since you can't walk. <laughs> so first thing, we're going to start out with some crunches. And if I don't know the name of the workout, I'm sorry, but I guess I won't tell you the name of it if I don't know the name, which kind of makes sense. And also, it's kind of helpful. You don't want like a full-blown pillow under you, but if you just bunch up like a little blanket or something, it's kind of helpful because you don't want to hurt your neck. I just find that's what works for me. So just adjust whatever for you. Now I'm going to do 50 of these. harder for me just because of all the head movement but it's a very effective exercise so I force myself to get through it anyway but if it's too much for you then don't do it and don't forget to breathe 40 50 you can take a slight pause in between if you need to um but I'm just gonna go right to the next workout I like this but 50 of these. Sometimes if it's way too dizzy, it's helpful to like do some spotting. So just look at your light fixture or something so you'll get too dizzy. I guess you would call that like a varied kind of crunch because it is a crunch in a way, I guess. But now we're just gonna do, you know, like a little heel touches. And I do a hundred of these. All the others I do 50, but I do a hundred of these. It's good for your obliques, that's how I feel it at least. Point. I ate not too 
vlog go. That was not a good idea. But I'll be okay. Don't eat right before you do that workout. Oh my god, I might be doing an extra 10 because I lost count, but it's not gonna hurt you. I think that was good. Now we're gonna go back. Go like this with your hands, like dive in position. And do 50 waves. And try not to use your arms, like don't go like to get yourself up, try to really use your abs. It's really making me go back and forth. The more you cross over your elbows, the more you get that muscle engagement. So I try to go even past my knees to get maximum engagement. 50. Oh, the room's spinning, but I just take a moment to restabilize. I always have to think to see if I'm forgetting the workout. I do with my feet. To see if I'm forgetting a workout, but I think the next one would be. It's also helpful to stretch all before all of this, like with resistance bands or something. That's always good. But I'm just gonna do some toe touches. I do 50, and it really works for upper abs. So here we go. And for this, it's best to get rid of your wedge that you have because it makes you really work harder. I try to keep your knees as straight as you can. It's better to have your knees straight and not be able to touch your toes than to have your knees bend and be able to touch them. And I say to myself, like, your feet are your goals, all your goals, and it really helps you reach them. It sounds kind of silly, but it helps. Remember when you're doing these exercises, you're fighting for your health back. And when I think of it that way, it really does help me push through. I pump some of these. Push through. 50. Breathe. <laughs> and now we're going to do a variation of those, which is your side to back up and then go cross to each foot and do 50 of these. This gets your upper obliques, I think, where I feel it. Kind of gets your arms, too. My legs aren't very straight, aren't they? 50. Now rest for a second. Or if you're in better shape than me, then you don't have to rest. <laughs> Uh, now we're gonna do certain variations of leg lifts, scissor kicks, all that kind of stuff. So the first one I'm gonna do are scissor kicks and I do, instead of counting 50 of them, I do it for 50 seconds, um, which ends up being more because I do them fast. And the faster you do them, I read somewhere that the faster you do ab exercises, the more they turn into cardio and the slower you do them, the more muscle engagement there is. Sorry, I was a lot of breath. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I kind of rotate between doing it really fast. I look so weird right now. Doing it really fast and then kind of slowing it down to get the, both the cardio and muscle engagement. So now I'm gonna do some scissor kicks and today I think I'm gonna do them a little bit faster just to get that cardio um, benefit. So here we go. I'm really starting to break a sweat.
Next, we're going to do sister kicks, but like this to the side. So. We're nearly at the end of the workout, so brace yourselves. Really feeling your abs by now. And now we're on our last exercise, which are double leg raises and they don't. <laughs> so, I catch my breath for a second. And I do 50 of these. And this is really when you really have to, when I find myself kind of faltering and I'm like, okay, you can do it, come on. So, maybe I do push myself too hard with these, but it's really good for your lower abs is where I find the benefit. So. Here we go. And I'm counting on the down beat, so six, seven. You just have to keep focused. Remember why you're doing this for your health cognizant of how you feel and not pushing yourself too hard. Because it is a fine line between challenging yourself and hurting yourself. I think this is 35, I lost track. Like I said, if you use faster, it's more cardio, and if you do this slower, it's more muscle engagement. I'm almost afraid to do them slower because I think my feet will get stuck down there. This is about 50. Oh, and if you want to get really crazy or make it more challenging, once you get down here, you can pulse up and down. That's crazy. But if you feel so inclined, then I encourage you to do that or even just modify this workout further. As you can see, I'm a little bit further down after filming that intro, but I just wanted to film this outro, so thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you, and I hope that, um, I'm tired. <laughs> I hope that it was helpful to you and that you gained something from this workout, and just remember to build up as you go. And I might be doing, um, a, if this gets good feedback I might be doing a few more exercise videos like this one but like for different body parts so maybe like legs or you know arms or something like that so let me know if that's something you'd like to see um yeah so thank you so much for watching and happy exercising